Hey guys, Ellie and welcome back to the Lots of Quack channel. Today I'm here with another reaction. I'm going to be reacting to three of these songs for the Finnish national selection for Eurovision 2021, UMK. I'm not going to try and actually pronounce the name of the selection because we'll be here all night. I'm going to be reacting to three songs. I've actually already reacted to them when I'm recording this intro. The video was recorded in two parts so I reacted to Axel's song on one night and then a couple of days later reacted to the second two songs. Songs you're gonna watch me react to in this video are Hurt by Axel, Dark Side by Blind Channel and forgive me if I butcher this but Kelly Masoitan by Ilta or something like that. I'm not Finnish, I'm not Scandinavian. Please don't shoot me. Okay, I've tried my best. As always, if you do like this video, please do leave it a like, leave a comment if you can, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. It really means a lot to us all and it will really help us in growing our channel. If you want to see more reaction videos to Eurovision 2021, then you can find them on the channel. There's a playlist full of them. You can also just browse. We also have a podcast covering the Eurovision 2021 season, so if you want to hear more about the UMK songs or any of the other national finals, then you can follow our podcast. It's on YouTube, it's on Spotify, all linked in the description down below. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first song that I'm gonna be reacting to is Hurt by Axel. Now, Axel was one of my favorites of 2020. I think he was my sixth or seventh overall in my 2020 top at the end of it. I am one of the very select club who actually had Axel as their UMK winner of 2020. Um, I know a lot of people came to realise that the song is actually amazing after he won UMK, but initially a lot of people didn't like it, a lot of people didn't see anything in it. I think it was a big shock winner and it was a big shock winner for me and it was my winner. I was so I can't describe to you how happy I was when Axel won UMK last year and then he got treated absolutely abhorrently by the fandom basically bullied out and he said he wasn't going to come back this year and lo and behold he's back and I'm so excited I'm so happy like I don't think I would describe to you how excited I am to hear this song so I'm just going to get into it I've waited far too long it's been out for like nearly 24 hours now and I need to listen to it so here we go I was just treading Oh, his voice is so good. I d I'm sorry, I just... Oh. This style is just everything that I live for. Like, sad male ballad, amazing voice. I love him. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna cry. I mean, I was expecting to cry, but... Oh. Oh my god. Listen, right, I have cried a lot to looking back, right? I have cried a lot. <laughs> mm. <laughs> My heart. <laughs> See, for me, looking back is a lot to live up to. Cause I, despite the fact it's only like my 6th, 7th of 2020, I adore it. Like, truly adore it. And looking back... Oh my god, that's not, that was pretty. Sorry. I just kind of... <laughs> my breath just caught then. <laughs> yeah. Looking back for me really hits on a subject that's like a massive emotional trigger for me. So it's like... The bar's very high. This is so pretty. You took my breath away earlier too, Axel. <laughs> I'm just mesmerized. Oh. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about his voice. I it just, I don't know. Okay, let me collate, collate my thoughts <laughs> and myself. Oh dear. I feel like that was a really terrible reaction because I was just sitting there, just listening. Like, I didn't, I didn't have anything to say. Like, it probably looked like I wasn't enjoying myself very much. I promise I loved that. I was just like, you know, I don't know, sad songs just, 
that just get me. And like I said, expecting big things from Axel. I think of first impressions, I prefer looking back, but like I said, the bar was very high, very high. And I haven't heard any of the other songs in UMK yet. So I don't know if any of them like challenge Axel. So like, I don't know if I can say that he's gonna be my winner of UMK again, cause you know, I haven't heard any, but you know, I, I think we should have as many 2020 artists kind of returning as possible and that's not to kind of discredit anyone else taking part in this national final season i just think it's more than fair and i you know having heard this song definitely do not mind axel coming back i have a thing i absolutely love um if you've listened to any of the podcasts or watched any of my other reaction videos you probably know this but i have a thing where i absolutely love like dramatic builds and choruses and things this didn't really have that but it had that sort of genuine emotional connection and it could relate to so many things like I don't know what specifically he's singing about I wasn't paying that much attention I think I was just so like lost but yeah even without the kind of dramatic chorus which I don't know I think maybe would have elevated this for me a little bit but that's just personal preference like I, I don't think it needs it but maybe if it had it then maybe I don't know maybe I would rate it higher than I already do but like that's not a complaint because like I said I don't think it needs it I love it as it is I think it was just beautiful all right so the next song that I'm going to be listening to is called Dark Side it's by a band called Blind Channel and now I've been told that this is a rock song rock slash metal I'm not really sure which side of the coin it falls on but I am super duper excited to listen to this I think this is going to be something really unique and really different well I don't know, maybe not unique, but you know what I mean? Unique for Eurovision, where we get a lot of the same kind of musical lot. Rock is always very refreshing, I find, at Eurovision, at least something in those kind of areas. And I, myself, do quite enjoy rock. I'm not too big of a metal fan. I think if, it, if it's too heavy, then I don't usually like it. But I like kind of like emo rock if you know what i mean like bring me the horizon i love bring me the horizon that kind of me that kind of rock i like that kind of rock a lot so i'm hoping this is somewhere along the line of that i'm really excited to listen to it i'm yeah let's just get into it it already sounds very bring me the horizon right off the bat oh yeah yeah this is my kind of rock. This is what I was talking about. It's the emo. They sound like Sleeping with Sirens, actually. Okay. Interesting. I don't know. Whatever those noises are, but. Ooh. Oh, yes. Yes. Like this bit. I like this bit. I like him. This guy that sings the chorus. I like him a lot. I like the chorus a lot. And that little pre-chorus bit there that they just did, very good as well. Oh, I like that! That, like, beat where they're like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this is my kind of rock. This is what I was talking about. It's... This is taking me back to my emo phase in, like, year eight. <laughs> I'm not sure how keen I am on the verse guy. And the verse is themselves. But I really like the chorus. This is so good. This is really good. I don't think people would expect me to like this because this is quite far from sad male ballads, but this is like a whole, like the whole other part of my music taste that I just love. I'm a, I'm a big fan. I am a big fan. They are really cool as well. I love their whole aesthetic. This bridge, this last chorus or the build, I can feel a build. I can feel a build. <laughs> Come on, last chorus, please. Oh! Okay! <laughs> oh, that was good. Yep, yeah, that was really good. They are like... Oh my god. 27 club. I Wait, I've just... I've just... I've only just started paying attention to the lyrics. Oh! I get... It. Right, no. Right, I... Yeah. I've just kind of caught what the song's about. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I like that. I liked that. That felt to me like the kind of music that I used to listen to when I was about 13, 14. The like, 
old classic emo bands like Bring Me the Horizon, Sleeping the Sirens, Pierce the Veil, all of them, it had that vibe kind of rolled into one. It, I really, really loved that. I should have been paying more attention to the lyrics throughout the whole song because I just kind of clocked at the end what it was about. A little bit heavy. Um, if you know, you know. If you don't know, maybe it's best you don't. It is a sensitive topic. Because I wasn't paying that much attention to the lyrics, I don't know if the lyrics were handling it in an appropriate way because I didn't clock till the very end what it was about, so I, I can't make a judgement on that, I'll have to re-listen to it. But I'm not going to go into what I think the lyrics were about in this video, just because it is a sensitive subject. So I won't go into that, but yeah, uh, I, apart from the lyrics, which I wasn't paying any attention to, the music was amazing. That last chorus, the little like... A lot of these kind of songs have that. I think Bring Me The Horizon have a lot of that in some of their music where they kind of strip the bridge and then it, they do like a, a, a strip back bit at the very start of the chorus and then it all just, all the instruments come back in. Like, obviously rock music has a lot more instruments involved than like normal pop music and the usual ballads that I love as well. Um, all the instruments go crashing back in at once and it is amazing it's the kind of drama that i absolutely love for so yeah i really really love that song <laughs> like i did say though the chorus was miles better than the verses i think the verse is gonna have to grow on me i'm gonna have to make my mind up about them but i can look past it for how good the chorus was to be honest i just really good really good okay so the final song we're gonna be reacting to is the last and seventh song to be released from ufk so this just came out last night. Um, I'm not sure what to expect from it. it. This could be anything. I have no. I've not heard anyone say anything about this song yet. I've not been fed back to on this song at all. So I'm going in completely blind to this song. I believe I'm going to do my best to pronounce this. I believe her name is Ilta, and the song is called Kelly Masoitan or something like that. I've tried, I, I looked it up, I listened to the Google Translate say it, so I've tried my best, okay, I, I, I don't speak Finnish, I do not have a Scandinavian accent, I am so sorry, <laughs> it's the best that I can do, but yeah, no idea what to expect from this, or I can't say if I'm excited or not, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna, just gonna jump right into it. Okay, right off the bat I still can't tell if we're even going down a ballad route, or, okay. Okay, now I feel like we're going down a ballad route. I like the font. It's very, um, fairy tale. I swear that's- <laughs> I've recently watched Shrek, so maybe that's why I'm saying this, but it looks like the, the font they use in the fairy tale books at the start of all the Shrek films. It probably isn't intended to be fairy tale -y font, but that's just the vibe that I get. It's pretty. It's pretty. Oh, I like the heartbeat -y kind of thing that's going on. The music video is very pretty, very pretty. It looks like a drama set, like a, a drama production. It looks like the set of one of them. I don't know why, that just, the inner drama kidding me, they're really, oh, she has a pretty voice. She has such a pretty voice. I can see this with a really beautiful contemporary dance on the stage. Ooh, a little bit of drama. I, I want a bit more oomph. I hope we're getting there. I want a bit more of, but very pretty, very pretty. It's a it's a nice kind of strip back ballad. I think this will be really made live. These kind of songs can, in my opinion, be quite boring in studio, but a lot of them are really elevated by the live. I do sort of worry how this is going to stand out, especially compared to like, obviously Axel's going to stand out already because he was the 2020 entrant. And then obviously the big, big rock song is going to stand out because it's the big rock song, you know what I mean? So, but it is, it is really pretty and her voice is gorgeous. I really wish I knew what it was about. Like, because obviously I don't understand the lyrics, but it is very, very pretty. I might just do a quick Google Translate of the, uh, the title. Okay, so Google translates the title as Who Am I Calling? Obviously with the, that last word that she sings at the end added on, it says Who Am I Calling Now? That's what Google Translate translates it as. I don't know if calling is the right word. 
like obviously Google Translate is not 100% accurate. It might be, it might not. But what I'd glean from who am I calling now is that the song's about like, she's lost someone, who can she like call now? Um, whether that be literally on the phone or like, who can she like call for help? Who can she turn to? Sort of thing. That's my interpretation based on a Google translation. So yeah, but I really wish I had like a, an English translation of the lyrics and I could feel the emotion more, but that was very, very pretty. Like I said, absolutely gorgeous. The music video was stunning. If they could translate that into some beautiful staging as well, I think this could be really elevated for me live. It was incredibly pretty. It's, I, it's definitely my least favourite of the three that I've heard, but the other two were very much more my kind of style. But I, I was a fan of this. I think it's really pretty. A solid 7 out of 10 at the moment. Like I said, could be elevated live. Um, she has a gorgeous voice. The instrumentation was gorgeous to be honest the only reason it is a 7 out of 10 not like a perfect 10 out of 10 for me is that it's not in my kind of personal music taste like it's probably not something that I would add to my playlist but that's just personal preference I can't I don't really have a bad word to say about the song itself so yeah um overall pretty impressed with UMK, at least the three songs that I've heard so far. I w have been recommended to listen to Lie, which I believe it was one of the first UMK songs that got released. Um, it's a sad male ballad, apparently. I haven't heard it yet, however, I'm not going to be doing a reaction to it because Luke, one of the other What's the Crack team members, has done a reaction to it. So I, if that video is already out before this, I'll link it in the cards. If not, you can find it on the channel very soon. Subscribe if you want to see that video. We're also going to be doing the next podcast episode on UMK. Myself, Sam and Kian are back against all odds. God knows why to do that. Again, if that's already up, I'll leave it in the cards and you can find it in the channel. If it's not, subscribe and look out for that. In the podcast, you'll be able to find out my full top seven ranking and my opinion on all of the songs, as well as kind of where these all landed in my top as well. With that being said, thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. It really, really helps us out and leave a like or a comment, whatever you want to do, any engagement with the video really, really helps us out. We're really thankful for it. There's a bunch of other creators on this channel making reaction videos, podcasts, things like that. So if you're interested in Eurovision, please do check out some of our other content. It really mean a lot to all of us. Thank you once again for watching this video. If you want to chat to us or whatever, we have a Discord server specifically for Euro fans. So that is linked in the description down below. You can also tweet us on Twitter. Our Twitter is linked below as well as my personal Twitter and all of my links can be found in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.